welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel if you have been here before thanks for coming back so i'm gonna do a good old fashioned plan with me which because i haven't done that in a while um but i'm actually gonna split this into two parts so i'm going to do um what i'm gonna call a before the pen which is setting up my layout using washi using stickers making it look pretty and then i'm gonna do an actual plan with me where i'm going to actually plan um because i feel like a lot of people are asking for that I see that a lot online like people saying you know yeah I love seeing planner spreads and I love seeing how people put them together but I need to know how to write in my planner I need to know how to actually plan and sometimes we get kind of lost in all the prettiness and all that so I'm gonna split this into two this one uh, which obviously you know by the title is the before the pen so I'm going to be setting up my layout I did want to note one other thing um, because you may be wondering, or you may not. So ever since July, um, I have been doing bullet journal-esque spreads. Um, and so what I've been doing as far as, like you'll see the paper changes here. Um, I've just been gluing the paper together. I've just been using um, like a tape runner. I'm actually out, I ran out of my tape runner and I just need to order more. Um, and so that's what I've been doing when I want to just change the paper. It actually makes it thicker. It's kind of nice. Um, one thing I've noticed, which is bizarre, is that even though this paper is for the same size planner, you can see the size is a little bit off. So like the yellow one's actually a little bit taller than this one. I don't know why. Um, so I have, you know, for some of them I have gone in and like trimmed it down. But that's what I'm doing as far as switching now you can see here um i like i said i'm out of my tape runner so what i'm going to do is just glue this down once i get my tape runner and this will be one piece it will be together and you can even see here how this page is a little bit shorter than this and it shouldn't be so it's kind of bizarre and so for this this is last week when you're seeing this um i am going to take my tape runner once i get it because you can see the pen, um, you can you can see it through here because this paper isn't isn't very great. So, but it's what I have right now. So, um, and I actually want to switch to grid instead of dot grid just because I've been doing a lot of dot grid. So I will get my tape runner eventually, and I will tape that down. Now I'm ha I'm still having the same issue where this page is actually shorter than this page. There's no reason for it to be shorter. It's the same paper for the same size planner, same brand. So that's weird. Um, I am going to be ordering new paper. I just, I haven't had that in the budget right now. And it's hard to justify when I have all this filler paper <laughs> that I need to use up. So um, we're, we're working with what we got. I may, um, I may actually just go in and trim, trim the end here because it's this page that's, that's too big. Um, so it'll be totally fine, but just wanted to kind of explain that in case you were wondering. So for this week, I'm not sure what direction we're going to go in. First thing I'm going to do, one of the huge reasons I love disc bound planning. I was going to wait until my new cover, uh, came, but I just couldn't wait to film this and I just wanted to go ahead and do it. But I have a new cover that is supposed to be here tomorrow from cloth and paper and like i've shown you before this is my beautiful dashboard from jane's agenda and so if you can just imagine and i'll i'll post a picture on instagram when it comes um so follow me there but it will be a nice clear cover and then this will show through and i'm so excited because it's beautiful oh my god um and i also have these back here which came in the same set I have this one, which is super pretty, and this one. Look at that. Gorgeous, right? So I could always switch it out. Um, I haven't put tabs on it for that reason, just because if I put a tab on it, then if I want to make it my cover, it might be a little jacked up. So I'm still trying to figure out, <laughs> figure out exactly what I want to do. Like right now, this is the divider for my notes section, and then the other one is the divider for my um filler paper so like here then this is all filler paper so i'm still trying to figure out what the heck i want to do um i saw somebody on youtube they made 
like little tabs in their um, traveler's notebook out of washi tape. Like they took, they took like a piece of washi and they like wrapped it around and made it a tab. I might try that because obviously you can remove it and it won't damage anything. But anyway, that's for another day. So for now, putting this bad boy away. And we're gonna get into it. Now, I'm thinking, so I know I wanna use this washi. This is one of, oh my God. Oh, I'm so excited. This is one of my new, um, my new rolls from Simply Gilded. If you watched my um, reaction video to my very first Simply Gilded order, I will link that in the eye um, above and also in the description. And, um, I'm just in love with it and haven't used it yet. So I know I want to use this. I was kind of thinking since this is very like, I don't know, like ethereal and like naturey, um, maybe I would also use this washi because this has a rose gold accent and so does this and it has flowers on it. So let's see how it looks. It might look terrible, I don't know. So this, Actually, this isn't even really rose gold. It's more like bronze, so that doesn't really go. Anyway, let's, let's, uh, yeah. Throw that idea out the window. <laughs> that's why we, that's why we plan before we start laying stuff down. I kind of like these stripes with it, but I also kind of like the dots. Hmm. I don't know, we'll see once we get there, but I know I want to use this. Um, and so what I'm going to do is, I normally cut this part out, but I thought, I don't know, maybe I'd include it sometimes, maybe you guys would like to see that. Um, I'm going to go through and just kind of pick stickers from the books that I'm feeling this week and put them on my, um, I, I call it wax paper. It's, I mean, it is wax paper, but it's the like back of a sticker sheet from when I was setting up my spooky organizer. Um, so I saved it so I could just use it for stickers. I had these out last week and didn't use them. So what I'm thinking is I'm looking for like, like I said, like nature, ethereal, like flowers and like, I don't know, not these kind of flowers. Though. These are too bright, but I was thinking and also anything rose gold, but I think all the accents in this book I might be wrong, but I think they're all gold, not rose gold. And I do not like to mix those two. That's just me. Don't care if you do it, but just for me. Um, yeah, I don't like it. This might be kind of pretty with, and I think this has pink in it. Oh, honey. That's the one. So I just, I use my fingers. I know people have fancy little tools to get their stickers off. Uh, I tried that, it takes too much time. And it says reach for your dreams, so I really like that. Hello Beautiful, I might use that too. Like I said, I wanna stick with like florals and you know. Um, yeah, um, can we just like throw that sticker away? This is nobody's year. <laughs> no, it is, it, some people are having great years. But just, you know, overall, it's a pretty terrible year. I think we can all agree on that. So this does have teal in it and that does totally go. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it yet, but we're gonna, we're gonna lay it down just in case. I know this book is a lot of like rainbows, which is not what we're doing this week, but there are some that I think will work perfectly. I was looking for these for last week because it was my dad's birthday. I, I found some more, but now I know where they are. Um, Yeah, so it's all like gold accents, so that's not gonna work. Rainbows, lots of rainbows. Lots of rainbows. <laughs> um, I always use a trash day because trash day is every Wednesday for me. So I know I'm gonna need it. Um, we are going to need to go grocery shopping, so I can use that. Maybe I'll make a list. 
laundry, uh, the bane of my existence. I'll take this out in case I do make a shopping list for, I think I might do a Walmart pickup order, but I don't know. I'm just going to flip through this real quick, make sure there's nothing here that I want to use. Again, I'm kind of going off of this washi, which that, that color is actually, yeah, I think we're going to need to use that. <laughs> That's actually pretty perfect. I'm going to grab this one too. If you're talking in the background, I apologize. My husband is working from home. <laughs> and he's on Zoom with his coworkers, so. I would use that, but it's gold and not rose gold. So we'll just make sure there's nothing else we want to use. I could use the pink. Why not, right? What other colors we have in here? We have green and teal. Pink and purple. I would like maybe something else teal. Maybe something like that today or must do. Maybe must do. We'll try it. That's the beauty of putting everything on wax paper because um, you don't have to use it. And these are all these are all pretty rainbowy, and then there's gold accents. I don't know what the hell to use these for. Do you, Please comment below if you know how, like, I've thought, I've like thought about it. Like if you had like a typical HP vertical layout, even, I, I still, I don't know how to use those. I should really sell these sheets cause I'm not gonna use them. And there's a lot. <laughs> um, uh, that could go. That's not bad. I, I might use that. We'll we'll see. Nothing is set in stone here. Um, I could do like a bird. I don't know. Yeah, those are all gold. Well, there are the, these here. I like to use a little game controller pretty much every spread because, you know. Do a laptop. Okay, I think that's all I want from this big boy. I haven't used this in a little bit, so I think, oh my God. Look, I know me and HP aren't on good terms anymore, but this book, honey. Um, it's just, it, mm, it's beautiful. Man. Yeah, again, this, this one we can just throw in the trash. <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah. I really like this. Holy crap. Now, yeah, it's a lot of gold accents and not rose gold, but we will make it work. I really like this, like, marbly print. Oh, my God. This pink one. Oh, actually, this is the, that's the color, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I said, Bitch. Y'all remember that Key and Peele? <laughs> I think it's the first episode. Oh, so good. <laughs> I said, man. If you haven't seen Key and Peele, you need to like, you need to fix that. This, this needs to go somewhere. This isn't part of this. Week. Just get, get somewhere here. I'll stick you on this other piece. This is just a hot mess of random randomness. So we got that one. Oh, that pink is giving me life, but I I feel like then it's gonna clash with the hot pinks I have in here. Ah, 
I don't know. That's pretty cute. Joy, be present, be in love with life. Coffee first, a freaking men. We have blue in here, so why not? Let's do a coffee first. Weekend vibes is black. That could always work. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, shit, man, that is pretty. Gold, gold. Nope. Ooh. Pull out this Hello Weekend. Stick that somewhere. Maybe a note to self. Um, yeah. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Mm, I really like those two, but I don't think I want to use them right now. Mm. True that. Mm, it's gold, though. Dang it. And getting toward the end. Okay. Yeah, I mm, I forgot how pretty this book truly is. Like, objectively, it's just pretty. I pulled this out because I just wanted to flip through it and see if there's any... Oh, that bird! See, I, I thought there was something in here that would go with this. Um, because even though this looks like it doesn't really go, there's teal in this. You can see there, there's teal in this moth, so. Hopefully that autofocus is working okay. Um, yeah, we might need to get another piece of wax paper. Not too many more stickers. I just wanted to look through, see if there was anything else. So, just that one. <laughs> this one I feel like might have some seriously pretty stickers that would go with this whole like naturey, mothy vibe. Um, it had a bee sticker, which was really cute, but I used that a long time ago. It does have a lot of butterflies. I do know that. Oh, that's cute. Mm. That goes pretty dang well. And just one more here. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know if I'm feeling, I mean, I like, I like this. Like, I always want to do doodles, but like, I suck at doodling. So it's like, I don't know. We'll, we'll pull it just in case I change our mind. Just because I suck at doodling doesn't mean I can't still do it. And then I just have my letters here. Um, not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I just pulled my little letter, homemade letter book out. 
So that's how I uh, pick my stickers. That's the part I usually cut out because it's so long. Um, I, that's just kind of the process I use for picking out my stickers for the week. Um, kind of looking and see what matches. Um, seeing what I'm vibing with for that particular week. And then I kind of set them aside. And now is the part that most of you probably don't have to deal with. Um, <laughs> I say deal with like it's an obligation. I'm choosing to do this. Um, and that is like actually creating the layout. Um, because obviously if you have just a typical planner or whatever, the layout's already there and you just go in and decorate it, it takes a lot less time. But I have really, really been enjoying these bullet journal style layouts. Um, and Queen has been really inspiring me with hers. And that's Last week, I did one based on one that she did. Um, kind of made it my own, obviously, but took inspiration from her. Um, and sometimes I'll just kind of go in, like, just just kind of blind and just kind of start, you know, doing something, which I think is what I'm going to do. Other times I'll, you know, have a photo for inspiration, which is what I did last week. Um, but I think I'm just going to kind of go in and uh, see where it leads me. And hopefully, it doesn't end up being a big disaster. So, first things first. This. Because, I mean, do I really need to say? Um, just trying to decide where exactly I want it. Could always just do the top. Split it in half. I think I want to do the top. I did the bottom last week. <laughs> Make sure I don't put it on upside down here. Um, starting with a blank slate can be overwhelming for some and for me sometimes, but um, I would say overall it is just very um, refreshing and fun. And I try not to overthink it, which is hard for me because I overthink literally everything. But I just try to have fun with it, you know. And once I started doing it, I was like, this is so fun because I was getting so bored. Um, and this is kind of like the perfect thing for me because I was struggling with, uh, with finding planner piece, which... You know, does it even exist? I don't think it does. Uh, <laughs> but, um, oh, where did I sit? But I was struggling because, you know, I would think that I liked a layout and I'd be like, all right, this is it. This is the one. You know, I found my planner piece and I'm, I don't need to think about it anymore. And then, like, a month later, I'd be like, I don't like this anymore, or I'm sick of it. I want something new. That's usually the case. There's a piece of sticker stuck. Um, and so this was kind of my solution to getting tired of a layout. And it's also the reason I could never switch to a planner that's not either a disc or ring bound. Because I need to change things up and like pull things out and add things in. And that's just me. Like I, I seriously spent weeks after the whole planner getting thing trying to figure out okay what's my new planner going to be what am I going to do um which planner do I want to go with and I I looked into passion planner and I looked into um bloom daily planners and I looked I mean I looked at a lot <laughs> um and for me there was nothing that I knew would 100% work for me and that's like Queen said in her podcast, Fancy Plans and Things Radio, check it out. Um, she said, you know, you really have to like get back to basics and say, what do I need this planner for? How can I use this planner to help me, you know, plan my best life? Because if your planner is not working for you, 
then it doesn't really matter if you, you know, if you jive with the brand or you support what they're doing or whatever, if the, if the actual planner is not working for you and you know it's, or you know it's just not going to work for you, then why are you going to buy it? Why are you going to use it? And, and that was the thing with Passion Planner. I knew that that layout did not work for me. Like none of their layouts work for me. And I knew that being stuck in this one book that's all together that can't take things out, I knew that was going to cause me anxiety, like hardcore. And I'm like, no, I'm not just going to buy this planner just because I support this company. I'll buy other things from this company, like stickers. I'll buy accessories and things, uh, pens, but I'm not going to buy the planner because I know it's not going to work for me. And so this I found was like, this is the solution. I've got my disc bound bullet journal, basically, even though it's not really like a traditional bullet journal, but bullet journal style layouts. Um, and I can get accessories from Jane's Agenda. Uh, I can get accessories from Cloth and Paper, which is where I got my new cover that's coming. Uh, I also got some discs from Cloth and Paper that I'm going to use on my um, junior size planner. <coughs> um, yeah. My half letter. I'm, I'm really excited. But anyway, that was a tangent. That was a tangent. But yeah, this is what is working for me currently. So I'm going to stick to it for now. And hey, maybe in two months I'll be like, I don't want to do this anymore. It takes too much time. And then I can stop and do something else. That's the beauty of it. So again, I'm going to try not to overthink this too much and just start laying down washi. So, side note, totally random, has nothing to do with this, but, so last week, um, Shan from the Honeybee Shop had her uh, anniversary sale, and, um, I discovered the Honey Bee Shop not too terribly long ago, and I'm I really hate that. I wish I I wish I had known about it before because Shan's vibe is like me in a nutshell. Like everything she does, I'm just like this is so me. Um. Anyway, and so you know she had this anniversary sale. It was 24 hours, and it was I want to say 30 percent off of everything. It was huge. Um, it was like, it was an actual, you know, good sale. Unlike some of these brands are like, we're having 5% off. It's like, okay, like that's pointless. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, so I had all this stuff in my cart, right? And I was like, you know, I, I want to support her. I want to get all this stuff. And then I like, I looked at it and I was like, okay, what do I actually need? And, you know, what amount do I want to spend right now? Um, cause I've already, you know, like I said, I got the cloth and paper stuff. I got Jane's agenda stuff. Like I try not to spend too much on, on planner stuff because I do have so much and I really don't need anything. Um, this one doesn't want to cut. And so I kind of said, okay, what do I actually need? And what am I actually going to use? Um, cause I know a lot of people, I never really got, got into this, but I know a lot of people like will just order something from every release from a brand that they like. And like, even if they don't like it or they're not going to use it. Um, and I, I did buy a couple sticker books that I didn't even really like just because they were new back when I was in the HP cult. Um, and so... <laughs> I, anyway, so I just kind of stepped back and I was like, all right, what do I actually need? And so I took everything out of the car and I just, I thought about it for like hours. I'm trying, I try not to impulse buy. Um, that's kind of why I like shopping online because it, I don't impulse buy. Like if we go to like a convention or something, I'm really bad about impulse buying. Like I see something I'm like, oh my God, it's so cute. I need it in my life. And then I buy it. Whereas online, <laughs> I can kind of take my time a little bit. Unfortunately, I took my time with the uh, cookie sticker company, um, and honeybee shop collab on the washi because it all sold out, but congrats to both of them, um, on selling out. That's amazing. Unfortunately, I didn't get any, but it's fine. So, um, <laughs> 
So I sat there, I mean, it's sad. I sat there like all night thinking about, okay, what do I actually need to buy? I don't want to feel guilty. I don't want to spend too much money and all this stuff. And um, <laughs> so I sat there, I thought about it, I thought about it, I thought about it. And then I was like, I have been dreaming about having a traveler's notebook. I swear this is going somewhere. I'm not just talking random about this. Um, <laughs> I have been dreaming about a traveler's notebook. I have never had a traveler's notebook. I was a little worried about getting into it because I didn't want to go down another rabbit hole of spending a bunch of money on stuff. Um, but I, uh, I thought about it like literally like all night, which is kind of sad. But I'm sitting there trying to justify spending like 30 bucks when, tell me if you guys do this. So I won't want to justify spending $30 on something that I'm going to have and I'm going to use like literally every day. Keep it with me. Actually use it. I struggle with justifying to make a purchase like that, but I have no problem going and spend $30 on dinner when I could cook at home. Does anybody else do it? Like, I don't understand. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, you know what, Cassie, just get the damn thing. <laughs> so I got a traveler's notebook, like the cover, you know, and forgive me if I'm using the wrong terminology, I'm sorry. I am a total newbie to this. So I got like the cover that she makes and it's gray. I'll put a picture in. It's gray and it has a really pretty heart cut out on the inside. Um, it's got her honeybee shop thing like embossed oh my god it's so pretty and she had an insert from the um I believe it's called spring fantasy it was from one of her babe boxes she had an insert for the size which the size is b6 again I am very new to this I'm trying to figure it out um and she had a b6 insert for four dollars so I got the cover which originally is thirty dollars on its own thirty dollars is the price which I understand why, because it's like super nice. It's like leather. Well, it's not real leather. I'm, I wouldn't buy it if it was real leather. Um, it, you know, it's very nice. It has the elastics and everything. Um, then the insert was $4. And then I got the little bat bow charm to put on the elastic. I got all that shipped. I want to say I paid $30.98, something like that. When normally... The cover itself was just $30. So, like, I'm really excited. But anyway. I don't know why I had to, like, justify that to myself. Like, it was some huge purchase. <laughs> That's just how I am. That's how I am with things I don't need. Because, it's like, I don't know. But, anyway, I will definitely be making a video about that and how I'm going to set it up and all that um i'm very very i don't know why i'm nervous i'm a little nervous but i'm very excited um and the reason i got the traveler's notebook the what i'm going to use it for um is something that i have been thinking about for a while and when shan did a silent flip through of hers and i saw how cute it was and how she uses it um, it really kind of sold me on it, but, ah, oh, dang it. Um, I really miss memory keeping. I used to do a lot of memory keeping. Not, not a lot, but, you know, pretty frequently. Um, and I still have my memory keeping book and it's, it's HP and it's, um, it's the, you know, big size. It's eight and a half by 11 and it's great for, you know, like if we go on a big trip or something, which, I mean, you know, 2020, again, I would have had a whole Colorado thing, but that's not happening this year. So, uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, <laughs> where was I going with this? Um, that's kind of long. Yeah, I'll do this one. Um, so that I use more for like special occasion type things. Um, you know, big, big events, like big birthdays, like my husband turns 30 this year. So we'll be using, or I'll be using, um, the big memory keeping book for, oh, I can't 
can't decide if I want to put this on the edge or put it off. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying not to overthink this, but I overthink everything. Anyway. Yeah, that's cute. Um, so like my husband turns 30, I'll do a spread in there. I'll have big, I'll get pictures printed out at, you know, Walgreens or something like four by sixes and whatever. But I wanted like something for more um, daily and weekly memory keeping and just like keeping track of like my moods and things. Like I've, I've been doing mood trackers in my planner, which I like, but I just kind of feel like that's the wrong place for it. You know, like this is for like planning, you know, events and appointments and, um, you know, things I need to do, keeping track of to-do lists and priorities and things. And I just kind of feel like the mood tracker doesn't really fit in. I mean, it can, and I know many people do it, but I just kind of wanted something different. So I thought I would do a traveler's notebook and have one insert be memory keeping and do another one that's um, like mood tracking or something. So for now, I just have the one insert. I want to start one insert, don't get overwhelmed and just do like memory keeping. Um, and you know, have little pick, like I have a little printer. I have this little guy that is out of paper, I think. Oh, it has one sheet left. Uh, <laughs> um, it's a polar, but a Polaroid zip. And the pictures are three by two inches, right? I think. Um, and so that'd be great. And just like using washi tape and making little, little notes and stuff. Like nothing too elaborate, but just something cute and compact that's portable. Cause that, that other, that big memory keeping book is not portable. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, just something. I don't know. Um, so I have to figure out how I want to lay out my days. I think let's, let's focus on this one side first. I think I want to do doodles and dreams down here. Maybe kind of line it up so the bottom of doodles is right on top of the washi there. That's cute. But yeah, super, super, super excited about getting my first traveler's notebook. I'm a little overwhelmed, <laughs> not gonna lie. I started like Google and stuff, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is this is like so overwhelming. I don't know what I'm doing, but I will figure it out. And I'm just going to make it work for me. That's the whole point. Oh, I really like this. Reach for your dreams. So I think maybe... Maybe I'll use this as like um, a grocery list or something. Because I do need to do that. Shopping list. I could use it for... Um, Goals, priorities. Hmm, just trying to figure out where I want this pretty little thing. I kind of want to cut off the end there. I'm going to hold off, I'm not sure yet. What I am sure of is, I think I want to use this up here and maybe layer it with a little bit of this washi. <clears throat> Let's see. But yeah, really excited to, um, you know, have a new method of memory keeping that's not so overwhelming. Um, because I feel like the big memory keeping book, again, it's great and it has its place, just like a, you know, traditional big scrapbook does. Um, but just for me, like, it's, it's kind of overwhelming and I want something that's more like daily and weekly versus like just, you know, big, um, big events and things. So, 
And, you know, this year there hasn't been too much going on, so I haven't really busted out the big memory keeping book in quite a while. I have not used it since I did my spread that was um, 2020 so far. And it was just like highlights from before quarantine and then a few things during quarantine at home. Um, and that was it. Like, I have not touched it. Because there's really not a document. Oh, my dad's birthday, I could do. I should probably do that. Okay. Yeah, I like that. It's really pretty. Um, I don't know where I want this cute little birdie. I think, I think she might go on the other side. Yeah, I think I might make this the, uh, eh. Mm. let's put that somewhere else maybe something here it's got this whole section I'm going to make this like high priority things that need to get done for the week that aren't necessarily attached to a certain day. And then here, I'm just trying to figure out, because it's hard because I don't, I don't know if I want to do a mood tracker because I don't know when my traveler's notebook will be here. Um, what else could I do? Yeah, so I'm just gonna have thinking be the brain dump. Okay, um, and then I need to, I could do the date here. Yeah, so I'll just do the date there. This will be brain dump. I'm going to attempt to do some doodles down here, but even though I suck at it, and this will be um, high priority tasks, okay? And so that's it, at least for now, on the left side of the spread, and then the side with the actual, um, where the dates are actually going to go. Now, last week I had everything very, like, boxed off, like I had, you know, I drew boxes, um, which I loved, but I just want to kind of keep it a little more open. Obviously I have some boxes here, but it's not all like boxed in. Like there's, there's space and it's kind of loose. So I want to do that over here. I have no clue how I'm going to do it. So I guess we'll just figure it out. Um, so last week I did like a more vertical layout. I had like vertical uh, rectangles. So I could do like boxes. I've done circles before. I don't really want to do circles with this because I do have some like rectangles and stuff. Um, oh, you know what? I think I don't know where I want to put this now. Because there's pink right here and it just goes so well. We'll do like this. Yeah, you might not be able to read it too good with that washi, honestly. Mm. I don't know now. That's cute. Yeah, that's cute. We'll do that. And then figure out how we want to lay this out. So, let me get out my trusty pencil. Nothing wrong with using a pencil. Got 
this pencil for many years. And somehow it still has lead in it. So I'm not going to bother with putting the date here because I'm just going to put the date on the other side. I don't really think I need it on both sides. So I kind of want to... Mm. Like I said, I'm, I'm struggling because I don't I don't want to box it off. I want to keep it kind of open. So what if we did like I'm gonna write very light so I can erase this. If we did Monday and then either I could just like highlight it and then leave a little room. So I'm going to draw a line that I'm probably going to erase just to kind of help me visualize what I'm doing here. So I'm not drawing straight because I'm going to erase it. Um, here's what I'm thinking. So we'll have this here. Maybe I'll put like a quote here. This could be quote of the week. All right. Then we'll have our Monday. And then I'm going to count the boxes minus the washi here. So just the starting with the date and all the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if we want to... Do the same thing. We do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stress about having it be too even because I can always put something down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna skip one, I think. We'll do Tuesday will be like about here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, I'm drawing these lines, but I am going to erase them. It's just to give me a guide. Skip one, and then we'll do the same thing. Thursday. Friday, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the weekend will be smaller, which is perfect because I never need as much room on the weekend. Actually, it might be, wow, this might be like, what? what? How did I do that? It's like perfectly even. What the hell? Okay, well. I'm a genius, apparently. <laughs> Dude, that's perfect. Okay, so now here's the question. Do we do stickers for the days of the week or do we try to handwrite it? <laughs> oh my God, my handwriting is not, it's not the worst, but it's not great. Um... Mm, this is always a struggle. Always a struggle. I've been using the the Calva Plan ones like a lot, so I kind of want to take a break from that. I am going to run out soon because they're not endless. Um, let's see. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, this doesn't have days of the week, does it? It just has months and holidays. 
and then actual dates. Hmm. Yeah, as far as actual, like, days of the week, yeah, I knew there was someone here, but... Hmm, I'm missing the Saturday here. And that's gold accent. Mm, that's a struggle. Um, yeah, that's something I like legitimately need. I don't have, uh, I don't have days of the week stickers. Like I, I have very few. So I guess we have no choice. But to uh, hammering it. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to highlight first, which I normally don't do. Um, because normally when I'm highlighting, I'm like checking off tasks, but I'm going to, I'm going to highlight and I am going to use my new mild liners. I got my first set of mild liners. Thanks to Tina Bobber, who was doing a de-sash. She had a pack of mild liners, brand new. And I said, you know what? I have been wanting mild liners for ages. And every time I go to like Walmart or something, I see them I'm like, man, those are expensive. And so I said, you know what? Let me get them off my girl Tina. So, um, this green is actually perfect. I can use green and maybe I'll use... This blue might actually, let me, let me swatch this because I don't think I've even used this blue one yet. Um, yeah, that's perfect. What about this? Wow, those are both, uh, Those are both actually perfect, so that works out. So, y'all ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. So, uh, I could, actually I could write with the, this side. Oh, what should I do, what should I do, what should I do? No, I'm gonna highlight. Now, do I want to alternate the colors? Maybe I'll do Saturday and Sunday a different color. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Why does this give me, like, the worst anxiety? Because I've been using... I know why. Because I've been using these um, erasable ones. Even though I never actually go in and erase them. Oh, you know what? I just realized there's yellow in here. I need to do some kind of yellow sticker. Like something with a yellow accent. So I will keep that in mind. All right, let's try not to overthink this and just just freaking go. All right. Okay. Uh, all right, and we're going to do our Tuesday.
Yeah, it's a shame I don't have any rose gold stickers that I could use for the days of the week, but I just don't. I have gold. Not rose gold. I don't have a lot of rose gold accented things. Not because I don't like it. I just don't. Okay. And we're going to do Saturday, Sunday in green. To change it up. Hmm, that's pretty. So pretty. Okay. So, again, it's not perfect, but I don't want it to be. That's kind of the whole point. So now comes the part where I have to write <laughs> the days of the week. And I'm going to put more stickers over here to take up this, um, this space. I wanted to kind of leave it to maybe do some more florals. <sighs> Forgot I had this line here. The one thing about pencils, <gasps> eraser shavings are annoying and they get everywhere. <sighs> Alright, now we just have the quotation marks there. Okay, so for the days of the week, I'm going to do black, obviously, because I think that's the only thing that's going to show up. So, we'll just do a... Nice, not bad. Okay. Okay, not bad. Oh, if you're wondering what this pen is, I did a um, first impressions slash review of these new Bic pens that I found at Walgreens. Um, they're called dual tip markers. It's on my um, IGTV and my Facebook page, so I will link that in the... Actually, it's already linked in the description in the link tree, but... Um, yeah, check that out on my Instagram and... or Facebook, <laughs> if you're interested in learning about um, these pens. And I did, like, a test to see if they bleed through and all that, so... And no, it is not sponsored. It's just me wanting to try out some pins. I really like them. Spoiler alert. Okay. Whew. That's over. Not too bad, right? Not terrible. So, now we have our actual days of the week. Now, I don't have dates yet because I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure if I even want to do them. Like, lately, I mean, it's not like I go to my planner. Like, it's not like I'm like, hey, what's today's date? I'm not going to, like, pull out my planner. I'm just going to look at my phone. So, like, <laughs> if I have, you know, week of whatever here or even just I don't know I guess I don't feel like I need the actual dates next to the date I don't know that's just me so I want to put I still want to use this because it's so freaking pretty I just don't know if I really have a spot for it 
unfortunately. Because it's kind of weird having this over here and then being on the right side. You know? Um, I do have this cute little birdie that I kind of wanted to use. Again, I just don't really know if there's a spot for the birdie. Unless it goes here. I mean, she could go down here. Why do I have, do you want to build a snowman in my head? Like, where did that come from? I think it's from that TikTok with the cat. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that, is that cute? I think she's cute. Now the acorn, I don't think I'm going to use. It was a thought. It was a thought for a minute, and now it's not. Um, I may pull out some more of these. I don't know. Oh, well, hold on. Now we know Wednesday's trash day, so we're just going to kind of put that by Wednesday there. And hello weekend, we can put... Could put that.